Crop inputs have been going up at a frantic pace and they're extremely slow coming down. Chad Nelson, fourth generation farmer, Vibrick, South Dakota. We grow corn, soybeans, alfalfa, and wheat. Bigger co-ops or bigger seed companies will almost pen you into their higher price. They make it easy, but easy means you're gonna pay for it. The chemical site on the FBN, it's black and white, and it's very transparent. They email me out price lists. They want me to shop around, and they haven't been beat yet on any prices. It's been substantially better on every product. Even if it's only one or two dollars a gallon, maybe it's five. Sometimes it's up to 15 bucks a gallon different. And that's $5,000 I saved. Having access to data for the price and helping me manage my data, 500 bucks was worth every penny of it. Just to know that somebody could help me manage and maybe help me make some decisions, not all of them, but one decision for 500 bucks is cheap some days. The right one. I really wasn't doing a lot with my data, and now at least I have an option. If I want to use that data, I can get it, they pool it, I can make maps. They can kind of be my go-to. I would say there's seven or eight different farmers that have done it, just in my immediate area, probably 20 mile radius. So knowing that they're in it, their data's gonna be in it, so I know I'm gonna get some feedback. I'm not gonna know where it come from, but I'm gonna know what worked in our area. But you're gonna at least get a few more pieces of the puzzle.